arrived in the little village of Charlestown on the southern coast of Cornwall. Let's go take a look around. Charlestown grew out of a small 18th century fishing village originally called West Porthmere. What the heck? This appears to be a Greek trireme in Charlestown? Across the way, down along the docks, is what appears to be a pirate theme park. There seems to be a general pirate theme in the harbor, but it is unlikely Charlestown was ever a haven for pirates. Because in fact, until the late 18th century, there was no harbor here, just a beach. And there really wasn't a place to hide or shelter pirates or their ships. It wasn't until 1791 when both a dock and a harbor began to be constructed. Eventually, an outer pier took shape and an inlet was excavated, which formed a dock and shipyard. A harbor gate was finished in 1799, which allowed water levels to be maintained, and vessels to remain afloat within the harbor at low tides. In 1793, a gun battery was completed west of the harbor mouth to defend against attacks mainly from the French. It would likely also have been a deterrent to any pirate activity in the harbor. The battery continued to be used until 1898. In 1799, the town was renamed and became Charlestown. Matt, tell us about the movie the eagle has landed, Donald Sutherland. He had a long trench coat down to his ankles virtually, like a creamy colour if I remember rightly. He had a miserable face. He got out of a car or a motor, motorbike, if, if I could be wrong. Forget, won't put money on it, motorbike. And he went in there and had a pint of something. That's the place. The eagle has landed. Pole Dark was filmed here, amongst, I think, various others, because if you scan around there, there's absolutely nothing of the 20th century, is there? Here's another snapshot of the harbor from the movie, The Eagle Has Landed, that you can compare with what the harbor looks like today. In the movie, the pub was called the Bell and Dragon. Today, it is called the Pier House. Explain this math. P A R. P A R. Bricks. That's where they were made. B-A-R. They're made in par? Here, Three yeah. miles up the road. Oh, all right, I did see the sign. China Excellent. China clay, bricks, bricks, China clay. Very good. B-A-R. The port was expanded to facilitate loading of copper ore from nearby mines. However, over time, mine production dwindled and output dropped. The port shifted to exporting China clay from nearby quarries. Charlestown prospered from exporting the clay until the 1960s. By then, the harbor, which had been designed for smaller vessels, needed a facelift. In 1971, the entrance was widened and a new harbor gate was installed. 
while this helped, it could not stave off the inevitable. The harbor again began to languish in the 1990s. Transport vessels outgrew the small harbor, forcing them to load elsewhere along the Cornish coast. By the year 2000, the last load of China clay sailed from Charlestown Harbor. Today the harbor is primarily a tourist attraction and is sometimes used as a TV or film set. And one can certainly see why. The harbor is highly picturesque and it is quite easy to imagine yourself in a much earlier time era. That is going to do it for my explore of Charlestown. Remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride and thanks for watching.